One of the things you guys will quickly learn about math class if you haven't already is that it's like a whole other language. There's so much vocabulary to keep your head wrapped around. One of the important things to learn about in your early algebra studies is how we talk about what's called the Cartesian coordinate plane, which pretty much just means like a graph. Um, what the story is is that this guy who was a French mathematician, his name was René Descartes, um, supposedly he was lying in his bed and there was this little fly up on his ceiling and he was trying to describe where the fly was going. And so what he did is he used the ceiling tiles. And he'd say, oh, okay, he went over two, up one. He's at the point two, one, supposedly. I don't know if that's true or not, but that's why we call the Cartesian coordinate plane after him. And what the coordinate plane looks like, it's kind of like this. It's like these rectangular boxes. Actually, if they were perfect, they'd be squares. We call it the rectangular coordinate system because it's made up of these little squares. And um, it's a couple of vocabulary things you want to keep in mind. The first thing is that this center point where the two, it's called axes cross, is called the origin. And we label it with the coordinates 0, 0. You guys probably already know that the first number represents your x value, your side to side. The second number represents your y value, that's your up and down. So we call this the x axis, the horizontal axis. We call that vertical part the y axis. And every dot, just like Descartes fly, has two numbers. Over two, up one would be something that would look like that. Two is the x number, one is the y number. So that's important, how you get the points on there. The other thing, and my friends, this is one of like the weirdest things in math, is how we name the quadrants. This graph is broken into four pieces. We call them quadrants. And we name them in a counterclockwise method, which to me is kind of confusing. Here's what it looks like. This we call quadrant one, and you use the Roman numeral one, which looks like capital I. This is quadrant two, Roman numeral two, three, and quadrant four is IV. I'm not sure why we use Roman numerals, but quadrants are named in a counterclockwise method like this, quadrant one, two, three, and four. It's important that you guys keep all that vocabulary in your brain throughout your entire math careers, not only in algebra, but from now on. The Cartesian coordinate system with rectangular coordinates, the origin, the X and Y axes, and the naming of the quadrants, one, two, three, and four.